Hello and welcome to the Robots and Pencils Academy. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. In episode nine, we saw how to take a picture and display the result in a view controller. In this episode, we're going to take a picture, but this time, instead of placing it just in a view controller, we're gonna place the result in a table view. Now what we have here is the same code we had in episode nine, only I've replaced the view controller with a table view controller. And as you can see, we're still gonna take the picture the same way. When someone hits that button in the upper right hand corner, this take picture method is gonna be called. What we're gonna do is change what happens after the image is taken. Instead of just displaying it on the screen like we are here, we're gonna do some extra steps to uh, save it and then ultimately display it in a table view cell. Now taking a picture and displaying it in a table is gonna involve about five steps for us. First, we're gonna take the picture, and we got that from our last episode. Second, we're gonna save that picture into the photo album using a library called the AL Assets Library. Then we're gonna store the location of where that photo is being saved. We're gonna reload our table. And then finally, we're gonna display the image in a table view cell. Now taking a picture, step one for us is already done. We can use the same code we used last time here in Take Picture. We're gonna to check to see if there's a camera, pop open our image view controller, sorry, our UI image picker controller, and then ultimately take the picture. Now before we can save an image to our, our photo album, we're going to need to import a core framework called the Assets Library. So let's do that now. Let's bring up our navigator, if it isn't already up. Click on the blue icon at the top. Go over to Build Phases. Hit the plus sign. We'll just type AS to have that short list for us. This is the one we want here, Assets Library Framework. Go ahead and add that. And if we come back to our, I have a class here called Photo View Controller. This is the same as View Controller in Episode 9. I've just renamed it Photo View Controller. We're going to go to the top here, and I'm just going to do an import and here I'm just gonna import that library. And this is the guy we need to actually save our images to the assets library. So with that guy imported, I'm just gonna come down now to the section where we actually want to do the save. And I'm going to replace this code here, which was just taking the image that we got in our callback. And instead of just displaying it on the screen in a sub view, I'm gonna replace it with this code here and uh, let's walk through and take a look and see what this is doing. So this class here, AL Assets Library, this is the library we're gonna be using to access our photos. It's a pretty handy little library. It's how in iOS we access videos and photos, anything under control of the Photos application. Now what's different about this, and you may not have seen this syntax before, this is using something called blocks. Blocks are like little sections of code we can pass around like methods and they get invoked asynchronously maybe, sometime in the background uh, when we actually call the method. In this case, we have an assets library, and we're gonna call this method on it, write image to save photo albums, and here we're passing in a block of code in this completion block, and it's these two lines right now that are, that are going to get executed after it's successfully saved the photo to the photo album. In this case, all we're gonna do for now is I'm just gonna print out the string or the location of where the photo was saved in the, in the assets library, in the photo album. I just wanna show you what that looks like. Now before I do, I'm just gonna get rid of this one little error here. I forgot to do an import up top. I'm going to import my util. Good, and with that now, if I come down here, let's run this and see what happens. Sorry, one more thing I forgot to mention is this AL Assets Library, we have to be a little bit careful how we instantiate it. I have a utility class here, which if I hold down the command key and click, I can get to quickly. And what we're doing here is I'm returning a single instance of this Assets Library every time I need it. The reason this is important is because if I don't return the same instance all the time, I can run into accessor errors and I'll include a link at the very end of the, of the notes to show you what I mean. But basically just make sure if you're accessing the assets library, you do it in this way to ensure that you get the same instance every time. Okay, so if we go back now to our image picker here and run this, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna run this 
and one thing I'm just going to make sure of is that I have my phone hooked up. The camera only works when you're actually hooked up to a physical device. So if you can, hook up your iPhone now. And now let's hit the run button. Okay, so I've hit run. I'm running the application on my phone. I'm going to click the camera in the upper right hand corner. And let's take a picture of something in front of us. There we go. Let's use that. And you know, nothing's going to come up in our table, but this is what I wanted to show you. Somewhere in your output, this is showing us the location of where the photo is stored on our phone in the AL Assets Library. I just wanted to run this up to this point because it now tells me that we're successfully taking a picture and saving it because it returned and it came out of that completion block and printed out the URL of where that image being saved. I know we've got a, a photo successfully being saved in our camera. So that's good. We can stop running this. Let's go back to our code and let's see what it's going to take now to take that image and put it up in a table view cell. Now if we're going to collect photos and display them in our table view cell, we need a data structure to hold those for us. So I'm going to use a mutable array to do that. NS Mutable Array. This is a handy guy because we can just add our photos to them as we're taking them. And it's a nice collection to, um, to basically just hold our photos. So I'm going to create that guy there. I'm going to come down here and just create a little accessor for him. So when we go to get our photos, if no photos exist, I'm going to create the array. And then I'm just going to return the array. Then I'm going to come down here and right where we printed out the string of where we were saving <clears throat> our photo. I'm going to replace that with this code here. Let's walk through and take a look at what this is doing. Now it would be really nice if we could just store the location of where our photo was saved in that string and just use that to access our photos later on at the display in our table. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. The only way to get hold uh, of an image and display it is to get basically access to something called an AL asset class or that instance of the photo via its AL asset. So this strange looking code here, what we're doing basically is we're defining a block of code that we're going to fire when we basically ask our assets library for the asset for a given URL. So after we've written the image, we're going to have an asset URL, which we can use to basically fire this block of code. And this code here is going to get fired when we execute this line here. I know it seems a little weird and convoluted. This is just how you can actually get access to your photos though. Because once this result block is called for us here, passing in our AL asset, and that's the guy that we want, we can add that to our collection and then request a refresh of our table. So all we're doing here is defining a block of code to get passed in here called the result block and then collecting our asset. And here you can see we're using that utility class, default asset library. I'm using that same class here that we used up here to make sure I get the same instance of the assets library class. All right. And with that, we're ready to go and fill in our table work now. Uh, basically, we do need to fill in the number of rows. So our number of rows is going to be our mutable array, our count there. So I'm just going to go self dot photos count. That's going to be our row count for the table. Oh, I need to return that. I also need to remember to set my cell identifier on the row of my table, and I think I forgot to do that. So I'm just going to come over to the storyboard here. I'm going to touch my cell here, come up to the inspector here, and for <coughs> reuse identifier, I'm just going to type the same string I saw there earlier. I'm going to type cell because that's the cell I want to continue to reuse. And then here under configure cell, this actually isn't that bad. All we're going to do here is because we've been collecting these AL assets in our photos, we can ask for the object at that index, given that index path and row. And then from the asset, we can just ask it for its thumbnail and create a UI image, set that into the image view of the cell, and then just set some corresponding text. Here I'm just putting thing along with some number. It's the row plus one. And with that, we should be able to run this and see what happens. So I'm just going to come up here and press run. 
Okay, so here we have our camera back. Let's take a picture now. There's one. We use that guy. And there it is. It shows up on our table. Let's take another one. Another picture here. And as you can see, as we take pictures, they're just going to keep coming in to our cell and we're just going to keep refreshing them and adding them to our table view controller. Excellent. So there you have it. That's a quick way to basically take an image, save it to an assets library, and then grab that AL asset, grab the thumbnail, and put that back into a UI table view cell. I hope you found that helpful. We'll uh, continue adding some more functionality and sprucing this up as we go. But uh, that's all there is. That's all there is to taking a picture and displaying it in a table view cell. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.